Fa Fa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path, of the Network Marketer. 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 All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how fad turns into dogma, how fad turns into dogma. But before we get into all that, I have a few things to ask, a few favors of you. Um, Well, a few favors to ask of you, (laughs) right? The first thing is, if you're not already joined our uh, Facebook community, come join the Facebook community. It's facebook.com slash groups slash path of the network marketer. Just another resource for you um, where we can continue the conversation outside of the podcast. Again, it's facebook.com slash groups slash path of the network marketer. The next thing I'd like to ask is uh, follow and uh, and subscribe to the show. If you're not already followed and subscribed, um, we are on a journey to 100 days and we're really close as of this episode. So I would, I would hate for you to miss anything, especially because I'm going to be sharing a lot of the stuff that I've learned, condensing it into a, a few episodes. Uh, everything that I've learned so far in 100 days, what a hundred days of podcasting has done for me and my business and what it can do for you. So go ahead and follow or subscribe. Of course, rate and review if that's available on your particular app. And then the last thing I'd, I'd like to ask is that if you find value in the content, please share this this episode, right? Chances are somebody else out there um, will find value in the content as well. So take a picture, take a snapshot or a screenshot of the podcast and post it to your stories. Um, tag me if you want. Uh, I'm a cannibal. I'm cannibal Ron on Instagram and Ronnie Cruz 11 on Facebook. So tag me on, on those stories. It would really, well, I mean, it would be doing me a, a huge solid. This, this show is not monetized. I don't do any advertising for the show. Um, so it'd be doing me a solid. But again, primarily, if you find value in the content, if it's helping you uh, on the day-to-day build your network marketing business, then chances are it's going to help somebody else, right? Like let's help more people score some wins in network marketing. So please, if you would, um, share the show. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, getting into the meat and potatoes of the topic, fed into dogma. Now, I was having a discussion, uh, this conversation with my sister about this new workout that she saw um, online. It's a new treadmill workout, 12, 20, 30 or something like that. Whatever. Like it's, it's, it's a new like incline workout. It's a, it's a nice alternative to your existing, um, you know, whatever your existing cardio regimen is, you know, in, in your fitness, uh, fitness regimen. Um, uh, it's, and you know, it's, it changes things up, it creates variety. Um, I, since then I've seen it obviously with, with the phones and the internet listening, it comes more, it comes up on my feed more and more, but it's become this, this fad and, 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 you know, I've seen more and more people do it. Uh, I've looked at it. It's a, again, it's a great alternative. It's a great um, way to, to, to change up and, and give variation to your, to your cardio. And it, it looks really, really effective. Uh, I think that the danger with fad is that people adopt these things without really knowing why and then and then you know becoming evangelical about it right <laughs> like that's the nature of fad and that can definitely happen with network marketing it can definitely happen with marketing um but, well i mean internet right especially social media it's all about what's trending right now and getting on that bandwagon in, in order to be at the at the front of at the front of that trend um, and so that so that you can you know blaze that trail and, and and capitalize on it I mean network marketing is the same way right we've talked about how network marketing can be uh, a hype train and hopping on that that hype train can can well it can equate to to pretty large gains so I get it I get it again the danger is adopting the the mass adoption of fad without knowing why why that thing is effective or why you should we, you should adopt that particular fad in the first place the next thing then is once a fad becomes widely adopted it becomes what everybody does right it becomes quote unquote that's air quotes right for those of you listening on the show um, on the podcast it's what everybody does and and what everybody does once it comes really once it becomes really ingrained and it becomes normalized and because of because of mass adoption what everybody does then can become dogma, right? It, beca- it can become this is just how it's done. And we have to really, really be careful about that, especially again in the network marketing space, in, in the marketing space, in the online marketing space, because when you get settled into and, and, and boxed into this is just how it's done because everybody does it this way, then it really limits innovation, it, limit, it limits growth. Now, for me, the example is I, was, I had I'd gotten really settled into um, this is how it's done 
old school, right? Because old school had worked for me so well. Now, fundamentally, it still works. Those, those old school strategies and tactics and, and fundamentals, it still applies to everything. However, uh, because I, I was largely ignoring, I was boxed into that dogma. I was boxed into this is how it's done. Without knowing it, I was being left behind because everybody else, the internet was, was innovating and was changing and was evolving without me. And, and, and my short-sightedness, um, because of having been boxed in by, by this dogma, by this is just how it's done, um, that short-sightedness really, um, uh, it put me at, at, at huge, huge risk of going extinct. And, and I saw a decline in my business as a result. So you know, I'm having to play catch up now because of because of this this kind of closed minded thinking. That's the risk, right? That's the risk of the this is how it's done. That's the risk of dogma is that it limits it limits your your mindset and it and it gets you settled in. And, and here's the other thing about it is that when when you're when you're in this cozy boxed in way of thinking, right? When when you're in this the, in this mindset, it gets very very comfortable. And, and again, that's, that, that's the example for me. I got very comfortable with what I knew because it had worked for so long and it had worked very well. However, yeah, yeah, comfort, there is no growth in comfort. And, and if you're staying there, you're going to get left behind, right? If you're staying in that box of, of, of warm, cozy comfort, um, everybody else is, is in their discomfort, um, but they're also innovating at the same time, right? And so, you know, for me, the internet and online marketing is massively, massively uncomfortable. Um, but I'm throwing myself in that into that discomfort because I don't want to get left behind. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to not evolve, um, and then and then therefore become extinct as a result. So really, really be careful about the fads that you're following. Know why you're following them. Know why you're adapting them. And then and then also be mindful to not let whatever you're doing, whether it's online marketing, whether it's old school, new school, whatever, online or offline, don't get hung up and locked into dogma because dogma will prevent your growth and and what will happen is you'll go extinct um, so that's the message for today hope that helps um, more to me from tomorrow well more from me tomorrow that's what i was gonna say so until then be well be safe we'll see you in the next episode